Hello everyone, welcome you all in our YouTube channel Learning Radiology. Let's start our today's topic. Today we will discuss on the topic HRCT. Today we will discuss on the topic HRCT temporal bone. So before so starting about HRCT temporal bone, a little introduction about HRCT. Like HRCT is first time used by Todo et al. in 1982 and uh, Nakata et al. and Naidich et al. first time they are published first time report on HRCT in 1985 in HRCT also called as a high resolution computer tomography have uh, already released a video on HRCT HRCT thorax or uh, HRCT introduction in previous video we already told about HRCT introduction and HRCT thorax so today we'll discuss HRCT on temporal bone in case of HRCT introduction HRCT is a technique which is used uh, or uh, which allow us for a better evaluation or better demonstration of the conditions HRCT is mainly done for two parts first one thorax and second one is temporal bone because those both have a uh, air cells and uh, thickness of uh, hrct is 0 0.6 to 5 to 2 mm slice thickness of set images in hrct before start hrct temporal bone we see about indications about hrct temporal bone Indications are like common indications like trauma, fractures, internal auditory canal, mastoid ear cells, trauma in middle ear or face ear paralysis etc etc. These are some basic indications about HRCT. Uh, contraindications of uh, HRCT temporal bone are like uh, pregnant women or uncooperative patients. There are some uh, contraindications for HRCT temporal bone patients positioning and patient centering in case of patient positioning and patient centering we use sorry before starting patient positioning and patient centering uh, we use uh, patient preparation patient in patient preparation patient should ask to change the hospital gown you, uh, you should provide gown hospital gown to patient to change ask to remove metallic object or radio opaque object from area of interest radio opaque object or metallic object means like a hair clip or uh, anything any metallic object present in the region of interest you should explain the procedure to the patient what you are going to be do with the you know procedure in case of HRCT temporal bone, we don't use any type of contrast material or a dye. And uh, after that, you should uh, instruct the patient during uh, scan or during examination. Patient do not move because patient, if patient do not move, it will help in examination because patient do not move you will do better examination then after you, you do pay your position and centering in case of patient orientation patient should be in supine position and head first position like this patient should be in supine position and head first position after uh, patient uh, orientation we use uh, uh, centering for centering uh, landmark is glabella this is a glabla centering is here it's a planning for uh, hrct temporal bone this is a topograph a tomograph topograph image of a hrct temporal bone we select only these regions in case of uh, when we say about the temporal bone protocol Positions in a, a position in patient are in supine position. We use dual scano slice thickness is 1 mm, table increment 1 mm, matrix size 512 into 512, 
filters are bone shaft filter where they have no any contrast are used area coverage are temporal bone these are the area coverage right? we only cover the temporal bone because we use or we scan for hrct temporal bone hrct temporal there are ct images of hrct temporal bone artifacts in hrct like uh, some common artifacts like stick artifacts uh, which radiate from edges of a sharply marginated high contrast structure like uh, bronchial walls ribs or vertebral body second one is motion artifact due to motion of patient like uh, pulse pulsation or star artifact are commonly visible at the left lung these artifacts are most commonly seen in the hrct thorax advantages uh, and disadvantages advantages are like diagnosis of very small lesion and disadvantages are like increase image noise and radiation doses more clinical aspects of hrct to detect diffuse lung disease and to investigate patient with an explained severe obstructive airway another one to use to in investigate patient with hemoptysis and to guide the type of type and the style of a lung biopsy thank you comment on this video like the video subscribe the channel Thank you.